of AEM, uh, which is called uh, event listener and event handler. Uh, if you take the sling data, right? So AEM sites. Um, so you don't need to go to workflow because if event dot node added. So there is another sample sling event handler. The two different APIs itself don't. So and what is the difference between event listener and a workflow? Workflow is like multiple. So this is the on event method which they are overriding and then they are actually verifying different events and then they can write a custom code anything which you wanted to write when the node happens that will be the custom code and um, so what is the custom code you will write suppose uh, uh, you have articles uh, which are created by the marketing people and uh, these articles uh, when a new article is created uh, uh, you wanted to listen to that article's path and when a new article is created send an email to a group of marketing people that this article is created so in that case uh, you don't need to go to workflow because there is no review process no there is no manually approval process you can just use the event listener and in the event listener on event method you can actually write code to send email to that particular group of people through uh, cc uh, tool list and uh, bcc you can get from the service configuration so this is the sample um, JCR event listener class, which you can actually uh, go through and uh, uh, verify how we can actually. So basically it is for um, um, listening to the node types. You can see here the node types mentioned as NT unstructured and NT folder, uh, where these uh, node structures are actually being uh, observed as part of the event listener. So you can scroll down. So if event dot node added, okay, is the event dot get type. So the event type is node added, you will do something here. If property added, you will do something here. So whatever is uh, done based on that, uh, you will be doing here. Okay, so that's that's about um, event listener. So another question they'll ask is uh, what is event handler? So as I mentioned in uh, previous uh, paint screen where uh, you have sling on top of it this sling and uh, node api below it and then OSA below it sling api related events are actually can also be listened using event handler api so event handler api basically uses what it uses um, event handler interface and uh, um, handle event is the method which it will actually look for so if you see the code base here Okay, so there is another sample sling event handler dot Java where you can actually see uh, how an event handler can be created. So you can see that it, again it's in a component where uh, the class is implementing event handler. This is the interface which they will be implementing and handle event is the method. In the handle event you can listen to the events of the sling okay not the node okay you, you can actually see what events they have listened to in the event right. See, they, they have added a job manager, okay, and then um, even dot property name they verified, array utils they have uh, checked it, and then, yeah, so basically, um, these are jobs, jobs are sling API, right, when there is a job added, so some job, something related to sling API is happening, this is executed, okay, and then the, the even dot get type equals to, topology event dot type dot topology changed okay you can see that event dot get new view so this event is actually in the import statements you can see that this event is sling event right so but uh, if you go to um, the event listener that is not sling event it should be um, jcr event right then only it can actually listen to the see this event is jcr event so these are the two different apis itself don't get confused that both sling event listener and sling event handler have used the same event which is being used so that's the advantage uh, which if we go through the real time process we can get to understand so the interview question that comes in the event listener and the event handler is uh, um, so which one you prefer to listen to a um, node entity unstructured 
that is obviously ntn strategy is a node api which we will listen to the event listener and what do you use for listening to the bundle start stop events it is bundle start stop is a sling event where is the event topic which we can use to listen to the bundles uh, events which is called um, uh, event uh, handler so that those are the api so both are for different purposes so and what is the difference between event listener and a workflow workflow is like multiple steps uh, even after one process step, if you some manual intervention is needed, that actually needs a workflow. But if it is a single program which needs to be executed, we don't need workflow, right? We can just use um, existing um, uh, event listener and um, event uh, listener. So um, that that's how we can actually use uh, event listener and event handler in uh, um, AEM, especially the backend aspects. Okay. So I hope this is um, um, the basics about event listener and event handler and the different interview questions and answers. If you guys come across anything more than that, please feel free to comment and I'll share the uh, questions and all. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks, everyone.